This was a mistake. Let's find out why. Today we're talking about six scientifically backed reasons why apple cider vinegar helps your health. And we're also gonna talk about specifically how it works so that you just don't take it blindly. What the hell is apple cider vinegar? Well, it's made from fermenting apple juice. And when you ferment something, it goes sour. One of the great benefits of apple cider vinegar is that it's a low risk addition. The dangers to your health from adding apple cider vinegar are very minimal. The risks apply if you take a large quantity of it. Well, what are the risks to taking apple cider vinegar? One of the biggest risks to apple cider vinegar is tooth enamel damage. One of the main components of apple cider vinegar is acetic acid. It is a weak acid. Because it's an acid, it can break down the enamel in your teeth. As a result, it weakens your teeth and puts you at a high risk of breaking down those teeth. The next risk to your health from high consumptions of apple cider vinegar is injury or damage to your throat. Because apple cider vinegar is a weak acid, it can break down very soft surfaces in your body. Some of the soft surfaces in your body include your mouth or your throat. If you take a high quantity of apple cider vinegar, it can slowly erode away the surfaces in your body. The next risk to your health because of high consumption of apple cider vinegar is heartburn. As we talked about before, apple cider vinegar is a weak acid. Now your stomach naturally has acid in it. High quantities of acid in your stomach are gonna regurgitate up back into your throat, causing heartburn. Long-term high concentrations of acid can cause stomach ulcers as well. The high acid concentration in your stomach can cause a risk of nausea to yourself as well. Now this isn't medical advice, so see your doctor if you have any specific concerns. But this is a helpful guide if you want the additional boost with low risk. Now the first benefit you can get from consumption of apple cider vinegar is lowering your blood glucose. In your natural body, after you eat, your body breaks down the components of your diet. One of the components is glucose, and that glucose gets sent through your bloodstream so that it can be absorbed into your cells. In normal functioning cells, they absorb that glucose. But in diabetes type two, the absorption gets blocked. What they believe apple cider vinegar does is that they believe it helps transport that glucose back into your system so you can absorb it and use it. The next way you can benefit from regular consumption of apple cider vinegar is weight loss. Now there are a few theories about how this works. One way that they believe it helps is that they believe it helps reduce satiety. What that means is that they believe it helps reduce your hunger. As mentioned before, when you eat, your body breaks down the components of your diet and gets absorbed. Because apple cider vinegar helps you absorb some of that glucose, your body thinks that it's already consumed food. Therefore, it tells your body to reduce the hunger. As a result, you eat less and lose weight. Another way they think it helps you reduce your hunger is that the consumption of the acid with water increases the volume in your stomach, making you believe that you've already eaten. The third way apple cider vinegar helps your health is that it specifically helps your heart. Cholesterol in general is not bad. It's used as building blocks to build hormones in our body. Normally, we have good cholesterol and bad cholesterol in our body. But if we have too much bad cholesterol, it starts clogging up our arteries. The mechanism is unclear, but it does help reduce the bad cholesterol in your body. And as a result, reduces the risk of clogging your arteries because of the bad cholesterol. The fourth way apple cider vinegar helps your health is that it helps maintain the proper environment, specifically reduces fungus. Any open space in our body has a natural environment and there is some fungus growing on there, but it's controlled by the good bacteria in our body. If the environment in any part of our body is thrown off, it could cause that fungus to grow rapidly. Spaces such as our mouth, our throat, and vagina are high risk of this danger. There are certain medications like Pepto-Bismol that'll kill all the bacteria. As a result, it kills off good bacteria too. So if you take a lot of Pepto-Bismol into your mouth over a long period of time, the good bacteria in your mouth starts dying. And what happens is the fungus starts growing on your tongue and you get furry tongue syndrome. The fifth way apple cider vinegar helps your health is that it has an antibiotic property to it with a low risk. As we mentioned before, the environment in our body is very dynamic. 
The good bacteria helps control the bad bacteria and the bad fungus. Specifically, Enterococcus faecalis is very dangerous in our body if it's out of control. And this specific strain of bacteria lives in our gut. It's mostly controlled by our good bacteria, but if it gets out of control, it can be very dangerous. And if it does, it causes not just sickness and hospitalization, but <laughs> the great thing about apple cider vinegar is that it's a low risk antibiotic. The reason it's a low risk is that if a bacteria gets resistant to it, it's not a huge problem. We could just take regular antibiotics from the doctor. And the next way apple cider vinegar is beneficial to our health is that it helps our skin and hair. Skin and hair is the exposed environment in our body. So if it gets thrown out of whack, it can easily become uncontrollable. So if you're experiencing surface problems on your hair and skin, such as dryness or eczema, it may be helpful to apply some diluted apple cider vinegar to the surface. So how do you take apple cider vinegar? It's recommended to take one teaspoon in eight ounces of water twice a day. Any more than that can be a risk to your health. Now there are tons of other possible benefits of apple cider vinegar. They include detoxification, anti-inflammatory effects, improved energy, enhanced nutrition absorption, and bone health. Scientific data regarding these is very limited, but that doesn't mean it can't help you. So if you're looking for a supplement to help improve your health with low risk and that's organic and natural, try apple cider vinegar instead of going to the GNC and picking up another pill. So yeah, this is a mistake. And now you know why. <coughs> Don't make the same mistake <coughs> I did. And if you're looking to take control of your emotion, specifically anger, and want rapid control, check out the Emotional RX program where I give you the tools to specifically de-escalate your anger. We'll work on four specific tools that help take you down from rage to a logical mind. I'll take you by the hand, provide you all the guidance you need and the accountability. For more information, check out the link down below. And until next time guys, never give up on yourself.